Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I'm Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this crop top. If you want an ad-free pattern for this specific design, you can get a copy from the link provided in the description box below. If you also want a tutorial for the cardigan and the bow tie you're seeing in the screen, there is also a tutorial for that. Video link is provided in the description box below. I'll be working with the size extra small but you can customize it to your size as we get into the video. So let's start! If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click the bell button to receive notifications for new uploads. To begin, make a slip knot and work a chain long enough to cover from your upper bust down to your desired length and it should be slanted 55 degrees. For my size, I made a total of 34 chains and that will give me 11 inch slanted. For our first row, work 2 double crochets on a third chain from hook. Then work one double crochet in each of the next chains across. Working with the velvet yarn is a bit hard, so to make sure you are inserting your hook on the right chain, you can try to pull up the loop a bit to see if you are still working on the same chain or on the next chain. On our last two chains, we will work a decrease and to work a decrease, yarn over insert your hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook on the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all loops. For row two, chain two, that does not count as a stitch, and then work double crochet on the next stitch across. On the very last stitch, work 2 double crochets. For row 3, chain 2, that does not count as a stitch, and then work 2 double crochet on the same stitch. And then 1 double crochet in each of the next stitch. And on your last two stitch, work another decrease and then for row 4 onwards, continue alternating pattern on row 2 and row 3 and then you can change color at any rows. So in my case, I'm changing the color for row 4. So since I'm at row 4, we will work the pattern for row 2 starting with chain 2 and then double crochet starting on the next stitch across. So for my size, I made a total of 40 rows and this is how it should look like. It should be able to wrap around your bust and then on your last row, leave a long tail because we will sew in both ends. Using this long tail, we will sew in both sides together using whip stitch.
then make sure to secure it at the end. the edging attach your yarn anywhere you can use color a or color b and then work two single crochets in each row around To finish round 1, slip stitch on the very first single crochet. For round 2, chain 1 and work 1 single crochet in each stitches around. To finish round 2, slip stitch on the very first single crochet, chain 1 to secure and cut the yarn. Repeat the same pattern on both edge and then divide it into 4 and attach your stitch marker. Now we will be working on the straps and in every stitch marker, grab your 8 meter light worsted cotton yarn, fold it in half, insert your hook and yarn it over, pull up a loop and insert your hook on the next stitch, yarn over both the strands and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all loops. Now separate the two strands and we will be working with I-cord pattern. Wrap the lower yarn around the hook and then yarn over the other one and pull up a loop. Again wrap around the lower yarn and yarn over the other and pull up a loop. Once you're halfway done with the straps, switch the two strands because it's already unequal. To finish the straps, pull up your last loop, tie them off, and make a knot. Repeat the same pattern for all four straps. that's it we're done